Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a makeover on Onyx Berry from my Not So Berry Extended series. So a few days ago we officially wrapped up Brown Generation, which I have been so ready to be done with. I'm kind of at the point with Not So Berry Extended where I love the family, no, no doubt about it. I mean, that's why I'm doing an extended version. But at the same time, I'm kind of ready to be done with the series, if that makes sense. I'm just like ready to do other things or you know focus on other let's plays and stuff like that which doesn't mean that i'm not excited to play black gen because of course i am but i'm kind of ready to put the berry household uh to an end if that makes sense but before i go ahead and talk about what i want to talk about i just wanted to point out a quick thing about why my creative sim kind of looks weird i recorded this creative sim last week prior to the patch update that we got with like all those new swatches and stuff so essentially when i go into creative sim and like i want to click on my sim's face it directly puts me into detailed mode which you may have seen that happen earlier on in the video i don't know if i cut it out or not but every time i would do that it would just go directly into detail and i didn't understand why I don't know if it's like a bug with the Sims 4 in general create a sim or if it's because of a mod or something and as you can also see my columns are cut off and you guys know that I've had five columns in create a sim for a very long time and it's never been an issue so I have no clue like how to fix this or what is causing this so if you guys happen to know fix or this has happened to you I would love to know because I genuinely have zero clue what is going on so any help would be appreciated but uh with that out of the way i just didn't want you guys to be like what the heck is wrong with our creative sim <laughs> like now you know um but yeah so as far as black gen goes so i was looking at the rules again because of course i wrote black gen i think uh a few months back i want to say i don't even remember exactly when i wrote it but i was looking at the rules again and let me just tell you i saw them and i'm like wow that's a lot and i know like brown generation was a lot too but looking at black gen it's just it got me very overwhelmed with like how much i have to do and i think when i was like, writing it i was just extremely ambitious i talked about this in the youtube community tab uh yesterday and then i also tweeted about it two days ago so i just went in and i was kind of like rethinking my concept for it and everything so well, not completely rethinking the concept but i made it a little bit toned down so it's not as daunting when you look at all the rules and you're like oh my god like how am i gonna do all this in time which i mean your sim is gonna be a vampire so you have plenty of time technically so yeah i'm happier with the rules i think now so hopefully we'll be able to get through it and not be like i don't want to finish this challenge and that's not what i want it to be like i want to be able to enjoy playing it and not making it feel like it's like completely a chore Things still might be subject to change but for now it's like a bit better and of course i want the experience to be good for anybody who who plays it as well um so far i've only heard good feedback i haven't i don't know if there's anybody who has played through if you're watching this now and you have happened to play through my black generation prior to editing it i would love to hear your experience especially since i haven't played through black gen myself so i think as i play it i'll still like decide whether or not the rules are good or not so i'll definitely be um revising them if need be but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as like the generation itself we'll obviously go over the rules and the backstory and stuff like that when it comes to um onyx's first episode which hopefully will be out sometime next week uh, i haven't recorded it yet or anything like that so hopefully soon and i would like to be able to at least upload it once a week or something i've been trying to do that with most of my let's plays but sometimes i get pushed back because we had life is strange going for a little bit there which i honestly i wanted to say for anybody who watched that series i appreciate that so much like being able to see other videos that i put out and like them doing decent and like really means a lot to me because i don't know like sometimes it's scary to put out other content on my channel but seeing the support really um meant a lot to me so i appreciate that and i definitely love to be able to put out some more variety content out like that especially like story-based games because i love playing those and i mean i play a whole bunch of other games outside of the sims like if you guys were to see my channel, like if I were to play whatever games I play on a regular basis, it would basically not be Sims. <laughs> I mean, I probably still play Sims here and there, but most of what I play off camera is not Sims at all. But I think after so many years of doing like YouTube Sims content, for me, like when I play Sims, I feel like I need to record it. So it's just like, 
I don't know, like, my time when I play Sims is what you guys basically see, like, for the most part, unless I'm, like, working on something, like, my save file or something, which I am working on one, I don't know if you guys knew that, I don't know if I've told you guys, if you guys watch my streams, then you would know that, but I have been working on a save file, which is nowhere near done at all, but I'm still debating whether or not when I'm done with, like, making Sims and, you know, making over other Sims, if I want to release it as, like, a 0.5 like 0.5 save file where not all the lots are edited or anything like that and like it's not fully finished or if i should just wait until i have literally everything done and then we'll have like a 1.0 if that makes sense so i don't know i haven't decided about that i don't know why i'm talking about it but i feel like every time i record a creative sim video it's like my time to like chat with you guys more because within like let's plays and stuff i feel like i'm more so focused on what my sims are doing and commentating on that and everything so yeah i hope you guys are okay with me rambling a little bit because i mean we're just watching onyx get made over right now anyways so i also didn't show all the other outfits i basically just showed the everyday outfit and then the summer outfit or the um hot weather outfit because i really like the hot weather outfit i don't know why i didn't just make it an everyday outfit because i like it enough to make it another everyday outfit but when we play with onyx she's not gonna be a teen for that long i think she's at nine days at the moment so yeah and i think i might have onyx start transitioning towards the end of their teen life so we'll see how that goes i haven't fully decided but i think like we'll start with like you know hair and clothing and all that stuff so it'll be like kind of like a gradual transition and then um of course i want to download the coming out mods so that we can have that happen and then i think i'm gonna have to see if i can find a pronouns mod which i believe i've seen one because if i tr have onyx transition the way that i'm planning to through mz command center which i showed in one of the um not so very extended episodes i think like two or three episodes back but i believe the game will still refer to onyx as female as opposed to male because i'm not using like the game mechanics that are in create a sim to have onyx transition so i think because of mc command center i won't be able to adjust um onyx's pronouns so i'm hoping that if i get the mod it will be able to solve that issue because i don't want you know the game to be referring to onyx as she when you know they transition i guess we'll see what happens hopefully i can figure something out but with that being said that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoy if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys